A patient with newly diagnosed type 1 diabetes mellitus has completed a diabetes education program. One month later, the patient confesses at a follow-up appointment that he just didn't feel like giving himself the insulin injections. Which nursing diagnosis will the nurse assign the patient? A. Deficient knowledge B. Non-compliance C. Impaired memory D. Sleep deprivation Answer. Be non-compliant rational. The patient does not take the medication as prescribed or at all. The patient does not comply with or adhere to instructions given about the medication. Non-compliance is usually a patient's choice. Which assessment findings best support the nursing diagnosis of deficient knowledge related to medication therapy? A. Patient is not taking medication as directed. B. Patient is not reporting side effects as directed. C. Patient is unwilling to comply with medication therapy. D. Patient is unable to verbalize reason for taking the medication. Answer. D. Patient is unable to verbalize reason for taking the medication. Rational. A nursing diagnosis of deficient knowledge evolves from data collected that prove that the patient has a lack of or limited understanding about the medication, its action, side effects, or cautions, and any related administration techniques. Deficient knowledge differs from non-compliance in that the latter occurs when the patient does not take the medication as prescribed or at all. In other words, the patient does not adhere to the instructions given about the medication. When planning care for an assigned patient, the nurse identifies the outcome of patient will be able to safely self-administer enoxaparin polovanox subcutaneously upon discharge. Which method best evaluates the patient's achievement of this outcome? A. Have the patient verbalize the correct procedure step by step. B. Visually demonstrate the correct procedure to the patient. C. Have the patient perform a return demonstration of the procedure. D. Give the patient detailed written instructions illustrating the procedure. Answer. C. Have the patient perform a return demonstration of the procedure. Rational. Nurses should always validate whether learning has occurred by asking the patient questions related to the teaching session and having the patient provide a return demonstration of the skill. Although the other three responses are part of the teaching process, they do not validate the actual ability of the patient performing the procedure. The nurse is educating a patient diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. When the nurse has the patient demonstrate how to perform self-injections of insulin, which domain of learning is the nurse assessing? A. Cognitive Domain B. Effective Domain C. Psychomotor Domain D. Physical Domain Answer. C. Psychomotor Domain Rational. Psychomotor Domain involves the learning of a new procedure or skill and is referred to as the doing domain. A return demonstration of self-injection would fall under the psychomotor domain. What phase of the nursing process would be a priority for the nurse when providing education on a new medication to a patient and family? A. Assessment B. Outcome Planning C. Evaluation D. Goal Identification Answer A. Assessment Rational Prior to planning or providing any education, the nurse must assess the learning needs of the patient and family. When the nurse completes patient teaching on a new medication, which method will the nurse use to evaluate the patient's understanding of the information? A. Ask specific questions to evaluate understanding. B. Observe the patient taking the medication. C. Assess the patient for response to the medication. D. Document the education session in the patient chart. Answer. A. Ask specific questions to evaluate understanding. Rational. The nurse should ask the patient very specific questions to determine if the patient has a true understanding of the medication.
The nurse is aware that the most appropriate time to begin patient education and begin the teaching learning process is A upon the patient's admission to the health care setting. B. Once the medical diagnosis is established. C. When there are written orders for teaching. D. At the time discharge planning is begun. Answer. A. Upon the patient's admission to the health care setting rational, the teaching learning process begins with admission or contact with the health care setting. The teaching learning process does not require an order and is within the nursing scope of practice. Waiting until discharge time is established may be too late depending on the needs of the patient. A nurse is teaching a patient about the Speak Up initiatives. Which information should the nurse include? A. The nurse is the center of the health care team. B. If you still do not understand, ask again. C. Ask a nurse to be your advocate or supporter. D. Inappropriate medical tests are the most common mistakes. Answer B. If you still do not understand, ask again. The nurse is caring for an 85-year-old patient in the hospital and teaching him how to use an inhaler. His 84-year-old wife attends the teaching sessions, and their daughter comes in to visit in the evenings. The patient is having trouble remembering the steps. What is the nurse's best approach? A. Provide the package insert that comes with the medication for the patient to read. B. Focus the teaching sessions on the patient's wife. C. Provide small amounts of information at a time. Repeating information frequently. D. Wait until the daughter comes in and teach the daughter instead. Answer. C. Provide small amounts of information at a time, repeating information frequently. A nurse is providing patient teaching for a community health center that serves a primarily Portuguese population. How would this nurse best serve this patient population? A. By learning Portuguese. B. Always using interpreter services. C. Using the family member interpreter the patient provides. D. Finding a job in a different setting. Answer. A. By learning Portuguese. A student nurse learns that a normal adult heartbeat is 60 to 100 beats per minute. In which domain did learning take place? A. Kinesthetic B. Cognitive C. Affective D. Psychomotor Answer B. Cognitive Rational Cognitive learning includes all intellectual behaviors and requires thinking. In the hierarchy of cognitive behaviors, the simplest behavior is acquiring knowledge. The student nurse acquired knowledge, which is cognitive. Kinesthetic is a type of learner who learns best with a hands-on approach. Effective learning deals with expression of feelings and acceptance of attitudes, opinions, or values. Psychomotor learning involves acquiring skills that require integration of mental and muscular activities, such as the ability to walk or to use an eating utensil. After providing education regarding medications to a patient who has been newly diagnosed with type 2 diabetes mellitus, the nurse would use which part of the nursing process to determine whether the patient understands these new instructions? A. Assessment B. Diagnosis C. Implementation D. Evaluation Answer. D. Evaluation Rational. The nurse would evaluate the effectiveness of the teaching session and look for areas where the patient needs reinforcement. A nurse is preparing for an education session on safe medication administration, which is the best example of a learning activity that involves the cognitive domain. A. Teaching a patient how to self-administer nasal spray. B. Teaching a patient how to measure the pulse before taking the joxin. C. Discussing which foods to avoid while taking oral anticoagulants. D. Teaching a family member how to give an injection. Answer. C. Discussing which foods to avoid while taking oral anticoagulants.
which statement indicates that the nurse has a good understanding of teaching, learning? A. Teaching and learning can be separated. B. Learning is an interactive process that promotes teaching. C. Learning consists of a conscious, deliberate set of actions designed to help the teacher. D. Teaching is most effective when it responds to the learner's needs. Answer. D. Teaching is most effective when it responds to the learner's needs. Which action best indicates that learning has occurred? A. A nurse presents information about diabetes. B. A patient demonstrates how to inject insulin. C. A family member listens to a lecture on diabetes. D. A primary care provider hands a diabetes pamphlet to the patient. Answer. B. A patient demonstrates how to inject insulin. A nurse provides teaching about coping with long-term impaired functions. Which situation serves as the best example? A. Teaching a family member to give medications through the patient's permanent gastric tube. B. Teaching a woman who recently had a hysterectomy about her pathology report. C. Teaching expectant parents about physical and psychological changes in childbearing women. D. Teaching a teenager with a broken leg how to use crutches. Answer. A. Teaching a family member to give medications through the patient's permanent gastric tube. A nurse wants the patient to begin to accept the chronic nature of diabetes. Which teaching technique should the nurse use to enhance learning? A. Lecture B. Demonstration C. Role play D. Question and answer session. Answer. C. Role play. The nurse developing a discharge plan regarding a patient's medications. When is the most ideal time to begin discharge planning? A. At bedtime, when the patient is relaxed be at medication time. When the nurse is administering patient medication C. At lunchtime while the nurse is preparing the food tray D. As soon as possible when the patient is ready. Answer. D. As soon as possible when the patient is ready. A patient has been instructed to take 25 mg of Benadryl oral syrup twice daily as a treatment for a severe case of poison ivy. The medication comes in a bottle that contains 12.5 mg 5 ml. The nurse will be teaching the patient how to measure a dose of the medication. How many milliliters will the nurse measure for each dose? Answer, 10 milliliters, 12 5 fifths equals 25 tenths. A nurse has completed an education session on self-administration of insulin injections. Which statements describe successful learning in the effective domain? Select all that apply. A. The patient states, I am feeling more confident about insulin self-injection. B. The patient states, it is important to check my blood sugar before I take insulin. C. The patient states insulin works to lower my blood sugar levels. D. The patient measures the correct amount of insulin in the syringe for the injection. E. The patient injects himself with the insulin using the correct technique. Answer. A. The patient states I am feeling more confident about insulin self-injection. B. The patient states, it is important to check my blood sugar before I take insulin. The nurse is providing discharge teaching to an elderly patient with short-term memory problems. Which strategies will the nurse use in educating the patient? Select all that apply. A. Repeat information frequently. B. Provide written instructions for home use. C. Instruct patient to take all medications in the morning. D. Encourage use of daily medication containers with alarms. E. Perform several short teaching learning sessions. Answer. A. Repeat information frequently. 
B. Provide written instructions for home use. D. Encourage use of daily medication containers with alarms. E. Perform several short teaching learning sessions. Rational, repeating instructions providing written instructions. And encouraging use of daily medication containers which will remind the patient to take the medication as well as enable the patient to know whether or not medication has been taken or all. Appropriate interventions for a patient with short-term memory difficulties. The nurse may have to conduct several brief teaching learning sessions for the patient to absorb the information. Having the patient take all the medications at once does not necessarily ensure they will be taken or prevent overdosage. Also, some medications may have adverse interactions if taken at the same time. The nurse is providing medication education to a non-English speaking patient. Who is qualified to act as a translator in this situation? Select all that apply. A. A certified translator. B. A family member who does speak English. C. Another healthcare provider who speaks the language. D. Religious leader for the family. E. A. Layperson versed in the person's language. F. Translator system on computer web based. Answer. A certified translator. B. A family member who does speak English C. Another health care provider who speaks the language. D. Religious leader for the family E. A lay person versed in the person's language F. Translator, system on computer, web-based, rational, all of the answers are correct. It is most important that an individual receive and understand the medication education. In addition, the individual acting as a translator must also be comfortable with the technical clinical information and acting as a translator in the situation. It is best to avoid family members as translators, if possible, because of issues with bias, misinterpretation, and potential confidentiality issues.